After being sick of Germany, Dad's application to Real Madrid led to an interview. And he must have nailed it because he was offered the job and accepted immediately. Could be a mistake, knowing full well he has to go back to Germany at some point to win the cup. I didn't have huge budgets, but I thought I spent well at Tottenham bringing in a defender and a young Rodrigo from Santos. While Dad had much larger budgets in Madrid and knew he needed to bring in Dario Orlando as his first signing from his former club. However, I was then prepared to take the biggest risk I've made so far when I seen the Arsenal job finally pop up as available. And as soon as I replied, I resigned from Spurs after a few months in charge. We could have been great together. Thankfully, they still decided to bring me in for an interview. And the risk paid off as they were happy to offer me the job as their new manager. And all of a sudden, I was at the best club in the country. With a huge budget too, might I add. And players like Neymar, who is still absolutely incredible with amazing physicals, age 31 now. I decided to go for a striker that I had also had a connection at a former club in Villa at Lazio. But for some reason, he rejected Arsenal and went to my other former club, Valencia. Maybe to cause Dad some problems. So instead, I forked out even more cash and I went for Kylian Mbappe at Lazio. And he signed for £144 million. While Dad was also going after more of his former players. A lot more, in fact. Dad, we both changed clubs in the summer. I can't believe what you've done, though. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I was really open for, to get the Arsenal job myself. I'm chuffed to bits of what I've got. Yeah. But when the Arsenal job came up after me and you just resigned and went, oh, I thought, no, I don't believe it. I mean, great decision, because <laughs> obviously they, they are the better team of the two yeah. at the moment. Current champions of the I mean, Premier what, League. What budget did you have as well? Oh, like 300 million. So it made sense to go. Of course you did. <laughs> but... <laughs> I mean, it was ballsy. Oh, definitely, because, I mean, you... I resigned oh, I as believe, I applied for it. I can't it. believe you've done it, to be honest. Well, I think if I didn't resign, they would never would have con No, they wouldn't considered. have done it. No. It was a big chance you took it, because they could have easily gone for someone else. Yeah, absolutely. Because they left it right to the last second, didn't they? It was on, actually on the day that he... He, he retired um, before retired. they even advertised it, yeah. which is weird. I thought they would have brought somebody in yeah. beforehand, but hey, I'll take it. I would have jumped at it. Yeah. Just because they, they, at the moment, they are the best premiership in on the computer yeah not in real life yeah yeah <laughs> uh, but I had you know time on my hands I had a couple of seasons ahead obviously because I knew you were gone to Spain so yeah. it's like oh, I can risk it if I lose the uh, if I don't get the Arsenal job but I, obviously I've lost the Spurs role then I can just wait until another one pops up in a year or two so there we go uh, I joined right at the depth as well I tried to bring in a player it cancelled because I, even though I offered the player over a week in advance he just let the transfer window run out before he decided to, to come in. So I'm just going to have to try and get him again, I guess, and see if I can bring him in for... Uh, I mean, I've got 90 million now. So. I mean, you were trying to bring him in because you had injuries as well with your strikers. Yeah. And Mbappe, was it? We Mbappe got, has got an injury. injury. Yeah, yeah. He's, that's the second injury he's already got for me. And he's out for four weeks as well. Uh, after a £144 million move from Lazio. I also picked up your old player, Damar Lil Watt from Bayern Munich. Yeah. Uh, good I did try English and bring him into Real Madrid, but he said he was interested. Yeah. And <laughs> Solari, Nicolo Solari from Napoli, who can play up front or on the wing. I mainly want him for that wing, but 20 composure <laughs> and 90 anticipation. Yes, please. Yeah, very good. So some good signings that I've brought in here for this Arsenal side who already won the league. And I didn't really uh, let go of anybody too too impressive, to be honest. Lekonga has left, but I wasn't even registering him. Neither was Vlavic. Like, he wasn't even registered. So there's a couple of players in there that happy to let go. Yeah. Uh, tactically, though, we look like this. We've gone for a 4 triple 2 uh, And it's been a little bit hard, to be honest, to pick the team. And because we struggled at the start of the season... Uh, and what I think I'm actually going to do is change these two around. I think I'm going to go with this instead because I don't want Mbappe playing a deep line forward. He's He needs to be the advanced forward. He's way too good. He's going to score me too many goals uh, having him in that role. So, And it hasn't started too good, unfortunately for me. If we have a look at the start of the season, I actually drew the first two games in the Premier League against Newcastle and Middlesbrough. All right, after that, it's been okay and we've looked comfortable in a couple of games. But yeah, that was you not really fantastic. Been yet though, have you? No, ninety fifth minute equaliser as well. Middlesbrough was a hard one to take. I did win the Community Shield, so that was my first game winning the Community Shield against Birmingham City. But there we go. Uh, Champions League's interesting because I've got Lazio in that yeah. group, so former club, and I still obviously their best player. Yeah. 
But there we go. Let's have a look to see what you've done, Dad, at Real Madrid. Interesting stuff. Now, you also did exactly what I uh, did as well and went back to your former club. Yep. You went for Nianzu. Well, I needed a bit of strength up in the, in the uh, centre of defence. Yeah. Really? So Orlando. Best trick, I think, for the Ryan, So, yeah, i got to go for that, and I. And then James Rodriguez. Yeah. The triple threat. Yes. The three... Three positions right through the spine, that I always say. Yeah. I've got all three of them in, so really good there. Then you brought in two backup fullbacks yep. in Ike Guerrero and Sam Carragher. Just wanted to make sure I was all right in case of any injuries. And then Marquinhos at the back for £106 million. And yeah, it doesn't even just start. A, no. That goes to show how good my defence is. And he was one complaining about all the money. <laughs> hey, come on. And I, hey, and I got Harry Kane on my team and he can't play up front so he's got out on the wing. Yeah. And he's scoring goals for me. He is. Number six <laughs> as well. Uh, he plays naturally on three wings because he was actually a winger when he was growing up yeah. he played out on the wings yeah. to see uh, if he could learn the roles and yeah, he wasn't happy when I well. bought the striker in because he said he felt like he was losing his position didn't he? and yeah. he said look mate he said if you want to win things you stay here I mean he scored 20 goals last season he's got yeah. 4 and 4 already yeah. with start, 4 man. assists as look, a winger he's a, he's a better winger yeah uh, but that is because I mean you're playing a 4-2-3-1 formation here quite standard actually with the two wingers Yeah. as unlike you usually you go for something a little bit crazy yeah. but maybe you're finally learning who knows <laughs> Uh, and that is because he's done very well because the first game was a 10-0 win against Real Batiste. What a start. That's probably the best start I've ever had of yeah. the season. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Atletico Madrid 3-2 victory That's against them. Way. Away from where I'm going. Yeah, they got Ike Munyain as their, uh, their best player. Malaga 5-0. Orlando with another hat-trick there. And Mallorca, Harry Kane with two. And Casper yeah. Nudson, who is your winger uh, on the left-hand side. And a very good one too. That yeah, 19 yeah. for acceleration, 20 agility, 19 pace. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <Yeah. laughs> so, you had no transfer budget left. You spent all of it. Yeah. Uh, you have one main goal, and that is to complete Spain in one, one fell swoop. Yeah, I've got to do it. Uh, but you still have the, to go back the good, to the Bundesliga. The good thing about it is, look at the league table, look. Where's Barcelona? Barcelona's already dropped down to seventh. Yeah. Drew two. So that's a, that, that's really encouraging for me already. Yeah, you got Valencia though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they're still so, very good because yeah. a player rejected me and went to Valencia. Yeah. I remember as well. And they've actually got uh, this guy in, which was the, the the player that they signed right after I left. But yeah, they got a few good players that came in and they picked up Lazio's main striker, the one that I went for to begin with. Yeah, Via, who was very good for you, uh, good for me when I was at Lazio, won a lot of stuff with me. So. Yeah, promising. Yeah, I've, I've really built do. a very just, good team there. This could be my little bit of luck, like just getting this this country done in one, one and sweep. done. While I'm mucking around, I feel, a bit, I feel a bit better now than I did at the end of last season. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what happens this season and see if Dad can catch me up real fast. Dad's Real Madrid side seemed to breeze through most of the competition, especially when Dario Orlando was on the pitch. That was until late December when they finally faced Barcelona and lost 2 0. I was struggling, however, in the shadow of Arsene Wenger's departure. Never been able to consistently pick up any wins and going on a bad run through December. Ending, however, with an 8 0 win over Middlesbrough, but it was still keeping me at the top four and behind Spurs. Dar's Real Madrid side was in a much more comfortable position, leading the Spanish first division 11 points ahead of Barcelona. Probably because Orlando had 26 goals already this season in just 19 games, beating last season's total before the new year. However, Orlando couldn't stop a crucial goal for Mallorca in the Copa del Rey fourth round. My Arsenal side began to find form throughout January and smashed past both Newcastle and West Ham in the FA Cup and onto Swansea in the next round. February was another strong month as we even beat Spurs at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. But after a great long spell, it was all for nothing as we went into a terrible period throughout April failing to win a single Premier League game, taking us completely out of the title race as well. Oh, it was a bad season for me. Great season for me. I only just <laughs> finished above Spurs. That was a bad Ooh. move. Uh, I think tactically I got this wrong completely. Yeah. I've got the players to do. I've got Neymar and Kylian Mbappe and stuff around, but yeah, I mean, Chelsea do have a good team, but I think there's 20 points behind them. This is exactly the season I needed you to have. And they signed Victor Osman as well yeah. last year, which obviously didn't help me whatsoever. Although he only played 14 games. He, he signed for them during January. <laughs> he still scored 11 so goals he still scored game. 11 in 14. Yeah. But yeah, I, I struggled big time there. Even Man United finished 
above me. I had, I had too good of a team to finish that far down. Yeah. And I think the only reason why I managed to save my job is because I managed to reach the semi-final of the Champions League and the FA Cup, but I won the League Cup. You always win a cup, mate, don't you? Yeah, it's just the one that I didn't need to win. 6-2 <laughs> in the Thank final you. against Birmingham. <laughs> well, there we go. Even you won that cup. <laughs> yeah. uh, but Portsmouth game, losing on penalties is very frustrating. Right, that could have been the final. Man City or, or Chelsea would yeah. have been. So, so, but Man City Man finished below me in yeah. the league. Two points so surprised well. Chelsea lost that. Yeah, so it's, di it's difficult. But yeah, I, th I kind of threw that away. They also knocked me out, of course, of the Champions League. 5-3 uh, on aggregate there where you were also knocked out as well 5-4 yep. after being ahead in the first leg yeah. and then Chelsea of course go on to face another Champions League final which could be three in a row and Man City are the ones to stop them who are the ones to win it previously and look who, who could they beat the following season last yeah. season Man United saw us yeah. Chelsea versus the two Manchester sides two years in a row yeah so best of luck I guess <laughs> Billy Davies. How the hell is Billy Davies? I don't know. But there we go. So I've got Mbappe with 40 goals. Carlos Velo with 26. He's dropped off quite a lot now. He's 35. I need to start replacing uh, him for sure. So it looks like Adesi came in but didn't play as much, which is weird. Why didn't he play? Yeah. I need him to start playing uh, next season to make a difference because, you know, six goals in four starts isn't bad. I need him to have more goals next season. Um, and next season, they've also given me £161 million. So I need to tighten some things up, change the tactic around a little bit and go for it in the second season at Arsenal and try and get that double done. But Dad, you're still in a job at Real Madrid. Yeah. And that's because you won it. 11 points. Good I, had, I had to win with that team. And Valencia right behind me yeah. in second place. You Barcelona pulled it flat. Barcelona pulled it back to third as well. Yeah. So well done. Lost three games in tow. One of them was to Barcelona. Uh, only three away games as well. So, he did really well. Orlando, 39 goals. Goodbye, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> High Savage Ray and Nudson got the most man of the matches. Fair enough. Got him in. Done me a job. But did you complete Spain in one go? No. Fourth round. After extra time. Do you know what makes it Mallorca. worse? Do you know what makes it worse? What? Two things that make it worse. Barcelona was already out. Barcelona, we've been out for three. And Valencia. New York. Oh, no, Valencia's free. New York have been our favourite Spanish team because we obviously we've been there, yep. supported them. But they got relegated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they got relegated. So they they weren't that good. Oh. They had Thomas Suchek as well. How hilarious. They got Thomas Suchek. You I actually think... scored in extra time. Yeah. Uh, 101. So you went ahead in extra time and still lost it. I think that was... If I'd gone on through to that competition I think with Barcelona being out of it as well I think I'd have gone on and won it as well which is what I really needed to do yeah I could have really done with that being done and dusted chasing you in the Premier League then my two former Spanish teams battled it out in the yeah. final and Sevilla won this time round I just can't win a cup no when the cups that really count I can't win them I can, no. win, I can win the Euro Cups but I just can't win those cups can I Dario Orlando dad 49 goals in 47 games yeah I'm pleased with that incredible Nudson on the, the left there 27 goals and 15 assists Harry Kane with 20 and 21. So Winger's done the job as well, didn't he? Yeah. 19 goals well, there Wingers for Amos Rodriguez. Retiring Higuain. What a career he's yeah. had. But there we go. Antonio Blanco's coming on developed quite nicely as well. But you've got £98 million pound with a very high wage budget next season Yeah. to try and win that Copa del Rey. Oh, I just don't know. Or would you want to move? The Cups. <laughs> Probably won't want to move. I mean, only Hamburg's available right now. Yeah. Man City is insecure, though. Ooh. <laughs> Jose Mourinho took your job, by the way. Did what he? a shock. Oh, we didn't uh, know. Really. And they are insecure because he finished in third place with but Dortmund don't... winning the league. Please All don't... on 68 points as well. Oh, bloody hell. Please don't tell me you won the cup, though. Oh, my God. Yeah, that would be hilarious. No. They did not win the cup. They were knocked out by Stuttgart very early on in the second round. So you're all right there. This is what actually happens to quite a lot, doesn't it? They get yeah. knocked out early on. Yeah, you're all right there. You survived right. there. But they did win the UEFA Cup 2-1. So they won that two seasons in a row. Yeah. Against uh, another side, yeah. Yeah. But there we go. All right. 
you got a trophy to add to your yep. retro glory hunter cabinet. It's There's one. only one of them. Let's pop it in there. Fair play to Dad. He easy won La Liga this year, and it's another trophy to add to his retro glory hunter cabinet. He couldn't complete Spain in one season, however. And with another season of duds this year round for myself, how many more chances will I give Dad to catch up to me as we go into season number 18? 